One of the oldest types of network cabling out there today is still, interestingly enough, one of the most commonly used types of network cabling out there today. And by that, I'm talking about coaxial cable. Coaxial cable dates all the way back to World War II, and we still see it today. If you're using a cable modem in your house, odds are good you're using coaxial cable. Now, what I've got here is a very old type of coaxial cable. I like using this because it's really big and yellow and pretty. What we're doing here is we're taking a look at what, what consists inside a coaxial cable. So if you take a look, first of all, we've got a little copper conductor there. That's surrounded by this white insulator. And then we have another conductor, all this different type of metal and aluminum foil and all this. This is a second conductor, and then all of this is wrapped in some polyvinyl chloride. The reason we call coax coax is because those two conductors, the one copper one in the middle and the big metal sheathing around that, both of those conductors share the same center point. So they share the same axis. They are coaxial. Now, when we're talking about coaxial cable, the first thing I want you to make sure you understand is that there's lots of different types of coaxial cable. And we separate them using a terminology called RG, or known as radio grade. So for the exam, there's certainly a few types of coaxial cable RG ratings that we're going to have to talk about. So RG will define the thickness of the cable, the thickness of the conductors, and it also uses a term called ohms. Ohms is a measurement of resistance, and it's a very important term that we use when we're talking about coaxial cables. Now, the different types of RG ratings, and by the way, there are hundreds of RG ratings, but for the exam, there's just a few that we need to cover. The first one I want to talk about is this fella right here. Now, this particular cable is called RG58. So what I'm going to try to do here, it's really, really hard to read, but if you read very, very carefully, I'm hoping we're catching this on the camera, you'll see it says RG58. RG58 is one of the oldest types of coaxial cables used in networking. Luckily, it's the only one still discussed on the exam itself. Now, one other thing I want to bring to your attention while we're looking at this is I want you to look at this connector. This type of connector is known as a BNC connector. And don't ask me what BNC stands for. People get in arguments over exactly what it stands for. But you'll see it's got this lock. You rotate, and it has a little lock on it. It's not threaded, and that's going to be important in just a moment. We really don't see coaxial cable used in classic networking anymore, but we do see it used on cable modems. So if you're the type of person who's got cable modem coming into the house or into your office, you'll see cables like these. Now there are two different RG ratings that you're going to run into out there. The first one is this guy right here. Let's see if I can get... Let's see if I can get this up here for you guys to be able to read that. This is RG59. RG59 has a 75 ohm rating, and you'll see a lot of times if you've got a cable, you have a connection in the wall, and you plug this into your TV. The other thing that's interesting about these, this is a threaded connector. And again, anybody who has cable in their house is probably familiar with this threaded connector. We call this an F-type connector, Sometimes you'll see the term FC, although that's fairly rare. Now, you're only going to see F-type connectors when we're talking about cable modems. The only problem with RG59 is that it's not super robust. So today, you're going to see a type of cable that looks like this. This is RG6. This is also 75 ohm, and it is far and beyond the most common type of cable that you're going to see with cable modems. So I'm going to try to put the RG59 right here with the RG6. Can we see that on camera? I'm just going to give that a little bit of a try. The RG6 is thicker than RG59. Now, I recognize that it might be a little bit hard to see this on camera, but RG6 is always going to be thicker, and that's important for the exam. Make sure you know that too. So when we're talking about coaxial cable, keep in mind that there's going to be an RG rating for it. Make sure you know that RG58 is an old type of cable used for networking. By the way, that's 50 ohm. And then RG59 and RG6, which are the ones you're almost certainly going to be running into today, are classically used 
with cable modems.